Hello and welcome to this video in the series on water autoionization. My name is Eric Kim and in this video we'll be working on identifying amphoteric species. Amphoteric comes from the Greek root word amphi meaning two or both. An amphoteric species is one that acts as both an acid and a base. In our example at the bottom we can see how water is acting as both an acid and a base. At the top, water is gaining a proton to form the hydronium ion, so water in this case is acting as a base. In the bottom, water is donating a proton to form the hydroxide anion, so water is acting as an acid. This will be important to remember in another video when we discuss how water autoionizes. Water isn't the only molecule that is amphoteric, so let's see some examples of those in our apply question. We're asked to identify whether the following molecules are amphoteric. In A, carbonate is capable of gaining a proton formed by carbonate. Gaining a proton means that carbonate is acting as a base. However, carbonate is unable to donate any protons since there are no hydrogens to lose. Therefore, carbonate is not amphoteric. In B, we can see that hydrogen sulfate is capable of gaining a proton to form sulfuric acid. Gaining a proton means that hydrogen sulfate is acting as a base. Hydrogen sulfate can also lose a proton to create a sulfate anion. That means that hydrogen sulfate can also act as an acid. Since it can act as both an acid or a base, hydrogen sulfate is amphoteric. To recap, amphoteric species are molecules that can lose a proton and act as an acid, or gain a proton and act as a base. Remember this term when we discuss the autoionization of water in another video.